In a previous video, we created an advanced view. By putting an exposed filter on this view, we can change what's displayed based on the subject field. So if we look for dogs in this collection, we see a couple of images that contain dogs in addition to cats and have been tagged with the dog subject field. But if we go look at the actual content of our site, we see there are a lot more dogs in our repository that are not being picked up by that view. They're not tagged with the, ta with the taxonomy term for dogs. So we could go edit them one by one, or we could use a handy little Drupal tool called Views Bulk Operations. Now this is one of the nice things about Islandora 8 in that we can just plug in this Drupal contributed module and without any customization at all it will work on our Islandora content. I've already got it installed here on my test site so we're going to demonstrate how to build a batch edit view from scratch. So we go to views and we will add a new view. We're going to call this one the new batch edit look for our content of the repository item content type. We'll create a page for accessing our view. In this case we want it to be a table because we're going to work with fields. And we'll set our display limit to 50 so we can work in larger batches. We'll create a menu link in the main menu so that I can easily get to my view once I'm finished. And now we'll save and go into the views editor. So here we see a very quick preview of what's in our view already. It's just a list of titles. So we'll add a few more fields that we might want to look at with our content. So we'll add a subject field since this is the field that we're actually going to be editing. Put that in there. Get a quick preview of how that looks. Let's add another field so we can see which collection each of these images is in. That will be the member of field. Have a quick look. And then one more field to make this into a batch editing view. We need to add a field for views bulk operations. And this is what will actually let us check off items in our view and perform operations against them. We need to define which actions we want to have available on this view. And even though this is a vanilla Drupal module with no customization, it's picking up on actions that came with Islandora defaults. So things like video derivatives, image derivatives, those are available to us as bulk operations. But we're going to use modified field values, which is just a regular Drupal action. We've got our fields in place, so we'll save that view and go have a look at the results. the main site and we created a menu link so we can go directly into our new batch edit view which will get the job done but it will be a lot easier to pick up the dog pictures if we could see a thumbnail so we're going to make one more change to our view we'll go into the quick edit link here and jump right back into the views editor we'd like to use the media but it's not currently one of the options that's available to us for fields so we need to tell this view what the relationship is between these nodes and their media so that we can access those media fields and put a thumbnail up in our view. So what we're looking here is media using field media of. So we'll apply that. And now that relationship is set. And when we go to add fields, we will have more options available to us. We can go grab something from media. So we're gonna grab the image We'll add and configure fields, apply that, and now we'll see lots of images showing up in our fields. Too many and not quite the right ones, so we need to add a filter there as well so that we're only looking at thumbnails. So we'll go back to the media fields again, and we're going to look for media use. taxonomy for Islandora media use. I'll make that a drop down so I can see what's available. And we want only items that are tagged as thumbnail images. So this should give us a much more manageable look. 
We'll rearrange our fields a bit here. Let's have that thumbnail appear as the first item in the view. Now we'll save that. Go back and have a look at our view. And now we can see at a glance where all the dogs are in our repository. So we'll pick out a few of them. And now we go back up and we're going to modify field values on all of those selected nodes. So we need to pick which field we want to change. In this case, it's subject. And we're going to grab the dog taxonomy term and apply that to all of the nodes. And now we can see the subject term has been applied to all the dogs. If we go back where we started to the cap advanced cat view and change our filter term to dogs, now we see a whole collection. For more information about Islandora, including documentation, downloads, and an online sandbox where you can try it out for yourself, please visit us at islandora.ca.